value of Bitcoin being such a neutral store of value and settlement asset is that it can be used to move value on the internet natively. And, and the, the only way that you do that with fiat currencies is with stable coins. And we can talk about that uh, in a bit as well. But I think that stable coins are good optimizations uh, for transactions that happen within the same currency. But if your entire network depends on one, uh, then that's a real problem. And I think it doesn't survive. And, you know, certainly I've experienced this firsthand. Um, and so Bitcoin is a net global neutral settlement asset for the internet, for the world, for transactions between real-time payment systems uh, is really the way it's going to happen. Um, and there's an interesting development in the last five, 10 years. You've had more and more real-time payment systems emerge in very large regions. So you have PIX in Brazil, you have UPI in India, you have real-time payments in Mexico, you have somewhat real-time payments in Europe. Uh, we'll eventually have FedNow become a thing in the US. And so if you have those real-time payment rails at the edges of the network, the question is, what is the global interoperability layer between all of these regional payment systems? Because they're not going to talk to one another. And no other country is going to accept anyone else's other, you know, another country's payment system. So this is where I think Bitcoin shines and and is the only way to actually provide global real-time 24-7 settlement of value on the internet. Now, you obviously led PayPal. Uh, you then went to Facebook um, and you not only did the messenger uh, kind of product and, and, and uh, did some amazing things there in terms of growing it and, and really building some Robux uh, functionality, but then also you did Libra. When you left Facebook, you pretty much could have gone and done almost anything in tech and business. There was tons of opportunity that you were given. Um, you chose to start a company called LightSpark. Talk a little bit as to why, one, subject yourself to the pain and the glass eating of, of building a company from scratch, uh, but also, two, kind of the idea and what got you energized about starting LightSpark? So I think I have determined that this was going to be the my life's mission to try to help bring to the world a, a, a real-time standard for open payments on the internet or standard for money on the internet and something that 